I want to tell you just a quick story, uh, uh, if you indulge me with this. It was told to me by uh, a, a, um, a ranger uh, many years ago at Ellis Island uh, uh, Park. Okay, so this 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 Jewish man is coming into Ellis Island, and uh, he's very nervous about what's going to happen to him. And someone from the Hebrew Immigration Aid Society, a Lanzaman even, says to him, "Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just when they ask you your name, tell them it's Rockefeller." Because in America, if your name is Rockefeller, you have it made. So this little Jewish man says, Rockefeller, Rockefeller, remember this foreign name. He's going through, of course, all these, you know, the process. Al Sign takes a long, long time. It could be like more than a day, whatever. Finally, he's trying to remember this name. He gets to the end of the process, and he asks him, what is your name? And he's like, I, he, 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 he just, it just left him. He came around. He goes, I, ich hab schon vergessen. And he goes, the official goes, what? Of course, ich hab schon vergessen. I've forgotten in Yiddish already. And so he goes, oi, schon vergessen. And, it's, and the official writes down, okay, Sean Ferguson. And he gets this beautiful Irish name. Okay, I'm sure it's not true. <laughs>
who were allied with the white armies invade Zamosh. And they blame the Jews. They say the Jews of Zamosh are allied with the Bolsheviks, with the Russians, not the Poles. And so there is a major pogrom in, in 1920. Um, people are terrorized. Uh, women are raped. Uh, beards were cut off of pious men. You, you see pictures of the, of, the, of the Nazis, you know, 20 years later doing this. My father's older cousin told me personally what they did basically was they, they it was dangerous I think to stay in the house because you would be a target. So they hid in the garden outside the house. Uh, she used the expression they buried themselves in the garden. I don't think they literally buried themselves but they were probably hiding behind the, uh, the shrubbery and so forth. And they could hear the screams and so forth and in fact my, my, my father's cousin told me I remember it like, like, a, a, like a dream. My grandfather, at this point, grandfather Shia said, that's it, we're going to America. On December 24th, 1920, they left Southampton, England, on the SS Lapland. They arrived in uh, New York in early January of 1921. I have here a, a copy the ship manifest of the SS Lapland and it gives you all the details and it lists the various names of the family and their and their ages and what have you and so forth. What's interesting about this are some of the questions that are checked off here. Are you a polygamist? Are you an anarchist? Do you plan to try to overthrow the government of the United States? Which of course you have to wonder if you were indeed planning to do this why would you say yes? Okay, I mean, it, is, it makes no sense. Under language, what language do you speak? It's Hebrew. Not, and of course it wasn't Hebrew at all. It was Yiddish, obviously. My father had quite a, I think, a droll sense of humor. I remember once we were at a, a, um, a traffic stop, but I was in the car with him. And the car, the light was red, and the car in front of it, and the car, the light turned green, and, 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 you know, a typical American would say, would slam on his horn, the guy wasn't moving, or, uh, or yell some kind of curse at the guy. My father very calmly goes, what are you doing? Waiting for Mashiach? I never pre appreciate what, how clever that was, uh, insightful. Of course, Mashiach, this Messiah, you're already waiting for the Messiah. It's so important. I tell young people who I had students to talk talk to your grandparents, or if you had great grandparents, and they have stories. Because you know, if you don't, they might be lost forever, and it really will inform your life just to know something about the past. Okay, and I'm so glad I did this. Okay, at, at, at this point, because no one else knows the stories. My father, I, many years later, I asked him, "What do you remember about about Zamosh?" I had, he remembered two things. He was very young. He was only he was about five and a half, six years old at this point. So he remembers walking in the mud and his boots would get caught in the mud. That was one thing he remembered. And the other thing he remembered, he said, his, the rabbi's hand was cut off during a pogrom. My father, when I was growing up, he would cry out in his sleep. He would have sort of like nightmares periodically. And my mother would, would wake him and say, it's okay, whatever. And this was, you know, and I've always, I've always wondered now whether something like this was something that was I don't know, because I don't think he remembered, you know, haunting his, you know, his memory. I would love young Jews, realistically, they're not necessarily going to learn the language. I understand that, obviously. But to get in touch with that world, I think much, m many Jewish values were part of, came out of that Yiddish kite in Eastern Europe. And, it, and it, it, it's important for them, I think, to know a little bit about that world, their, in the values of that world, their great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents, whatever it may be, and how that knowledge, those values and, and experiences might inform their own lives here uh, in the United States today. It may not seem directly relevant. I think it is in terms of, you know, fighting for fairness and social equality and things that I consider to be, you know, sort of Jewish values, really, in many ways, and identifying with the oppressed and so forth. And I think that 
that you know under, I mean they may have that anyway those values a lot of those those people but I think understanding how that there's a continuum even though it was greatly interrupted clearly by the Holocaust okay there's a continuum from that past into, into the present and that you should tr try to make you know uh, to know something about that 